Hello, I'm Chef Monica, the General Mills corporate chef dedicated to K-12. I'm here to share ideas for using a variety of the best-loved General Mills products for schools. I'll be showing you basic handling tips for biscuits, muffin tops, and bulk yogurt. And I'll be sharing recipe variations and menu pairing suggestions that incorporate USDA, commodity, foods, to create nutritious and on-trend menu items that will be a hit with your students. Whether you're serving grab-and-go, curbside, or in the cafeteria, I'm sure you'll find suggestions you can use. Yo Play Parfait Pro is a 64-ounce bag of low-fat yogurt that comes in vanilla, strawberry, and blueberry. I'll be using mostly vanilla today, but any of the flavors work well for almost all the ideas I'll be showing you. We named this product Parfait Pro because of how easy it is to portion into cups for parfaits. Tearing along the perforated strip creates a handy opening that allows you to pipe directly into the cup. Parfaits. Crisp and crunchy, ready-to-eat, whole grain rich cereal combined with creamy yogurt and sweet, colorful fruit create a menu favorite that can be served all across the day. Plus, parfaits work really well with school regulations. With one ounce of grain, four ounces of yogurt, and a half a cup of USDA commodity fruits, parfaits easily fit into 12 or 14 ounce cups and check the boxes for meal components at every serving occasion. For the grain portion, you can add one ounce equivalent grain of granola directly to the parfait or serve it in an insert. One option is to serve just the yogurt and fruit in the cup and offer a variety of bowl pack cereals so students can select their own and add cereals themselves. Another option is to serve the yogurt and fruit with cereal bar on the side. Parfait components can be served in a range of containers to keep your menu fresh and interesting. Yogurt bowls and banana splits are variations on the parfait theme. Bento boxes or other grab-and-go containers change the look of your offerings and can work for the array of ways and locations you are finding to serve your students. Parfait Pro works for more than just parfaits. I find the bulk bag is easier to empty than scraping out tubs. One of my favorite ways to show Parfait Pro is as part of a blenderless smoothie, stirring unsweetened applesauce, a commodity I see in every school, and juice into yogurt results in a healthy, smoothie-like beverage without the need for fancy equipment. Each serving of this orange-flavored food court smoothie contains four ounces of yogurt for one meat alternate, and then a quarter cup of applesauce and a quarter cup of orange juice, which together credit as a half a cup of fruit. Two ingredient smoothies are another option. They don't have the fruit pulp texture that applesauce gives the blenderless smoothies, but some students may like that better. Just mix equal parts of yogurt and fruit juice. Per eight ounce serving, the crediting is one meat alternate and a half a cup of fruit. I learned from operators that they use the drained juice from their USDA canned fruit in smoothies. Why waste the juice drained from the canned pears used in a parfait when the juice can be used to make a smoothie? This purple smoothie is made with Blueberry Parfait Pro and drained pear juice. For your high school students, another version of a smoothie is the Yogo Coffee Cooler. One 13-ounce portion contains 8 ounces of milk, 4 ounces of yogurt, a teaspoon of instant coffee, or 1 ounce of quadruple-strength coffee, and an ounce of non-caloric flavored syrup. This is made with a mocha syrup. Many schools use decaffeinated coffee as an option. These Yogo coolers credit in reimbursable meals as 8 ounces of dairy and one meat alternate. Serve with a half a cup of fruit and one ounce equivalent grain, and you have the three components required for an offer versus serve breakfast. Everyone knows how much older students love coffee shops, and these coolers give you the option of serving something similar. And it's an excellent way to get students to drink milk. 
All of our smoothies, parfaits, and coolers should be served within, should be served within 72 hours of preparation. This is a yogurt version of overnight oats. I stirred together quick oats with yogurt and canned frozen or fresh fruit. I call this recipe the daily special because you can use almost any fruit. Refrigerate overnight before serving so that the oats soften and the flavors blend. Yogurt can also be baked into an easy version of bread pudding. I used our whole grain rich biscuits, but other breads would work too. Stir together yogurt, applesauce, eggs, dried fruit, cinnamon, and leftover bread. Then bake for about an hour. You can slice or scoop it and serve it warm or chilled. Muffin tops are the best part of any muffin. Ask any kid or adult. Serving freshly baked muffin tops could be the best part of the morning for your students and a definite draw to your reimbursable breakfast. Using freezer to oven frozen muffin batter pucks can make serving freshly baked muffins manageable for your busy staff. This whole grain rich product credits as one ounce equivalent grain and comes in chocolate chip and blueberry, real blueberries. Some schools do menu them as scones. I guess that's okay. It's easier than explaining what happened to the muffin stem. <laughs> Let me start by sharing some tips for successful baking. Be sure and bake only one flavor on a sheet pan. The two flavors may bake to doneness at slightly different points in the bake range. Lightly spray the parchment paper to make the baked muffins even easier to remove. The muffin tops can be baked in red and white fry boats, which can make service even easier. I like to change the size and shape of the muffins as ways to add variety to the menu. Here's a monster muffin which is a two ounce equivalent grain serving. These are easy to do. Just stack one muffin puck on top of the other before baking. These will take a few minutes longer to bake, so don't bake single muffin tops and monsters on the same sheet pan. I also like to cut the muffins in half before baking to make dippers, or you can cut them in quarters to make muffin bites. Both of these ideas deliver a dippable baked item that provides interactive fun for your students. And I like to dress the muffins up for holiday fun. A couple of candy coated chocolate candies make these into muffin bugs. And a few pinches to the raw batter and some sprinkles results in a heart. I showed you monster muffin made with two muffin tops, but you can combine the muffins to make other baked goods too. Stacked sideways in a loaf pan bakes into a quick bread. Laid out in a steam table pan topped with oats, produces a coffee cake, and baked on top of USDA canned fruit makes an easy warm cobbler. These were ideas for you to change the way you bake the muffin pucks. Now for some ideas on adding variety to the ways you serve muffin tops. They're great by themselves, but they make excellent sandwiches for a two ounce equivalent grain serving. I like to show the blueberry muffin tops as a breakfast all day offering. Layered with ham, egg, and cheese, this will rival any quick serve restaurant meal. The chocolate chip, paired with nut or seed butter, sunflower seeds, dried cranberries, or raisins, make it a DIY meal kit your students will enjoy. They can dip or make a sandwich, their choice. I always want to share ideas to reduce waste. Sometimes the things you make with leftover products are the best of all. It's easy to crumble leftover muffins with yogurt and USDA fruits to make a version of a parfait. In a fancy restaurant, this would be called a trifle. In schools, this is called a smart way to serve one grain, one meat alternate, and a half a cup of fruit. I think my favorite application of all is the muffin biscotti, a crunchy delight for dipping into yogurt. Slice or quarter the baked muffins and rebake at a low temperature until they're crisp. Muffin tops are a delightful whole grain rich option for your reimbursable meal entrees. Keep in mind that when they're on the menu, the muffin tops do qualify as a competitive food that same day and the following day for a la carte service. 
so you could serve muffin tops for breakfast one day, slice and rebake them, and serve the muffin biscotti in your coffee shop that day and the next. Biscuits may have had their start as a traditional southern comfort food, but they are now served all day on menus all over the country. As a warm, whole grain rich offering, they are a welcome addition to school menus. Biscuits may be purchased as a dough or as a fully baked product. Fully baked biscuits are easy to serve and can be ready to go in 10 minutes or less. They make a great two ounce equivalent grain side item. This biscuit bowl that many schools are serving is similar to popular restaurant offerings. You can add your own special touches to the baked biscuits too. Here are some of my ideas. Cinnamon toasty, chili cheese, Parmesan herb, and cheddar dill. Use dried herbs or fresh ones if you have a school garden. Of course, fully baked biscuits are a big help if you're building your own sandwiches. Here's a Monte Cristo biscuit. A touch of jam and a dusting of powdered sugar transform a sandwich with USDA Foods deli meat and cheese into a sandwich as pretty as it is tasty. Using frozen dough allows you to serve freshly baked biscuits in about 30 minutes. The frozen dough also gives you the opportunity to create lots of variations to enhance your menus. Baked biscuits top off homey dishes like chicken pot pie. Try baking easy split biscuit dough with the sheet pan on top to make a flattened pot pie topper. Or open the flattened biscuit and serve it as part of a DIY pizza kit. Biscuit dough can be cut or manipulated for even more variety. All of these ideas use one two ounce equivalent grain biscuit. A few cuts and a sprinkle of seeds turns a biscuit into a pull apart claw or stretch out the thawed dough and fill it for an empanada. You can cut the thawed biscuit in half and wrap the stretched dough around chicken strips. Finish with the drizzle of hot sauce for an easy to eat twist on hot wings. Cut or just pull each piece of biscuit dough into four pieces before baking. Try a sprinkle of cheese or a savory spice blend for added flavor appeal. Serve these biscuit bites with soup or a salad. Even with the best planning, there can be leftover products. With a little effort, unserved biscuits can add delight to your menu. Croutons are great, served as the grain side for a fresh salad. To prepare, cut baked biscuits into half-inch cubes, then toss lightly with a commercially prepared vinaigrette. Bake in a low oven, 250-300 degrees, for about an hour until crispy. Cool and portion into cups. For a sweet option, Cut baked biscuits into quarters, lightly mist with buttery spray, tossed with cinnamon sugar, then bake at a low temperature until crispy. Allow to cool and then serve with any USDA canned fruit and yogurt as shortcake bites. Biscuits are the classic breakfast bread. With minimal effort, that one item in your freezer can provide a variety of menu items for all the ways and times of day you serve your students. Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you found fun ideas for biscuits, muffin tops, and yogurt that will help you inspire your staff and feed your students. Don't forget to visit us at our General Mills virtual booth for new tools and resources to help you this summer and into the following school year. You can also book an appointment with me or one of my General Mills colleagues to learn more about how our products can make your back to school a success. Also, be sure and check out our website at generalmillscf.com for these recipes and more helpful ideas and resources.